This is my family's raised garden bed. I've got a full detailed video on how to build this yourself for right around $200. And there are many advantages to a raised bed. The main one for me is that it enables natural gardening or organic gardening much easier than if you have a garden in the ground. We're creating a bit of a separate environment to reduce weed pressure, eliminate any chemical spillover from the lawn, and have our vegetables and our food source just in a more controlled environment. Now one of the negatives of having a raised garden bed, previously we had a large garden right in the ground is that I could easily with a rototiller clean it up in spring. This one you could use a mini cultivator but it's a very small area so I'm just going to use a shovel to turn over the dirt, get some air in it and take the weed weeds out that I didn't take care of last year. This is obviously a relatively confined space. So to maximize our yield out of this type of garden, we need to give our plants the best possible soil we can while still staying in those confines of natural or organic gardening. So it's the end of April, it's about a month till I can really plant this garden. I'm in zone four. We can freeze all the way up to the end of May. So to be cautious, we need to wait to, to plant until the end of May. So what we're going to do today is supplement the soil with worm castings. This provides organic material and nitrogen and they do take some time to break down so I'm going to give them a month in the soil here and then the nitrogen should be bioavailable for those new plants that we put in the garden. These worm castings are from Earthworks link to their website in the description of the video. They're out of Nebraska, middle of the country, uh, a, a good supplier I found. This is a 10 pound bag, so this goes quite some ways. I won't need the whole thing for the garden, but we're gonna mix this stuff in. I went quite heavy on this. You really can't go too heavy. It's not gonna burn anything out. I'm gonna save some for some other plants. I've got some potted plants, um, but all there is to it, get it in there and turn over the soil a bit to mix it in and they'll start decomposing and that nitrogen will go into the soil and be available when we plant our garden. That's all there is to it. Now we just wait to plant our garden. Now, as you veteran gardeners know, growing food is not an easy task. And for you first timers, you'll find out. But it is a very rewarding experience, but it's not a one-time task. You'll learn to work with the seasons and timing is critical as in most things in life. And this is a good time to supplement your soil and get ready for planting. Thanks for watching. Adios. A little for you, a little for you, some for you. A pinch to grow an inch.